Well, that sucks. Dead ends. Which is why I don't believe in them. Now, these kidnappers might be fake, but they're not invisible. There has to be a way to find them. You're right. If Muhammad won't come to the mountain, the mountain must go to Muhammad. I have no idea what that means, Decker. Well, someone needs to get kidnapped. Now, there's an idea. That I was just suggesting. No one likes a credit hog, Decker. Now, who would be the bait? Well, I'd like to volunteer. That's uh, not a good idea. If these are the same guys that abducted, allegedly, Lucifer, they're going to recognize him. All right, we need somebody who's a lot less, well, everything. Esperanza. Es Espinoza. And sure, that makes, uh, makes sense. I have the most experience in the field, so if something goes wrong, then... You're expendable. Exactly. Thank you. Now go get kidnapped, Esperanza. So brutal. That's a clip from Lucifer. The Fox hit all about the devil incarnate just returned for season three. Now, this time around, the comic book based series is adding a new character that knows a thing or two about playing a comic book hero. Kevin got the lowdown. He had a chance to sit down with the show's two Toms and joins us now with all the details. I did, yeah. I talked to Tom Welling and Tom Ellis. So, Tom Ellis plays Lucifer mm -hmm. on the show. Tom Welling plays a new character named Lieutenant Marcus Pierce. Mm -hmm. Superhero. As you just saw, he's also uh, Superman from Smallville, Clark Kent. Mm -hmm. uh, but I spoke to them about the show. Now, just for the record, when I walked in the room, I was wearing a Deadpool tie and Deadpool socks. So our whole beginning conversation off camera was about Deadpool. So that'll set this up when you see a joke that happens within the interview. Uh, but interestingly enough, Tom Ellis is wellish in real life, who plays Lucifer. But he gave the accent to a character that sounds similar to his, but it's actually different. And he speaks on that. And also, Tom Welling, who plays Lieutenant Marcus Pierce, talks about his new character and then makes fun of me. Watch this. I'd like to show you who I really am. I am the devil. Oh, my God. Really? You have to bring him up now. We were having a moment. Wow. You, did, you created this accent for your, uh, the character for, by your, on your own, right? It's slightly different than your accent. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it, he's from Texas. <laughs> right, right, right. No, no. I, I'm actually <laughs> from Birmingham, <laughs> Alabama. But you're Welsh in real life, but what is Lucifer's <clears throat> accent? So, when I first read the character, he really, um, it struck me as a, uh, the way that he spoke struck me as a kind of character that one might read in an Oscar Wilde play huh. or a Noel Coward play or something. That's cool. From a, sort of time, from, a, from a different time, and it's kind of like high style. Um, and so that was my sort of starting point for it. And then, you know, there's a kind of infusion of rock and roll and a bit sort of um, when he gets angry. So, you know, he can, yeah. he can be very well spoken when he wants to be. I do yeah. love this tie. looking very lovely. This is awesome. Him. But then when he gets angry, he can get a bit like, you know, he can drop a few teeth and a bit like, you know, through the nose. But um, it, just, it just kind of evolved, really, from, from what was on the page and I wanna, what I did. I want to see him walk into a heavy metal concert and just do this and rock out. That would be like, the, yeah. I mean, that needs to happen. I think I've done that to the Bengals before. <laughs> On October 2nd, Tom Welling joins the cast of Lucifer. I'm surprised it's taken you this long. Are you ready? Um, uh, so we don't know a ton about your character mm. yet. Um, talk, can you just give us a brief idea of wh wh who you're going to be on the show? Yeah. Uh, this, and you're new to the season, so... Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm new this year. Lieutenant Marcus Pierce, he comes in... Um, you don't quite know who he is at the beginning, but over the course of the season, you'll find out that he's there's a, there's a very large sort of arc that, that, that he'll go through. And he's not who he seems to be. You, you kind of were at the forefront of these superhero, mm. uh, these shows and movies. But can you talk about where you, what your thoughts are on current superhero yeah. movies? Do you, are you loving the Zack Snyder world of mm -hmm. Superman? Are you loving, like, what are your thoughts on that? Well, the only, the one, you know, I just think the, the worst movie that I saw last year was Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> He was telling me about how much he hated it during the, uh, before the interview That's started. That's not true. That's awesome. <laughs> now, we were lucky enough on Smallville to, it, it, a lot of it was timing. Um, the, the type of show that we did with technology, it really just sort of crossed in a perfect way. Yeah. Um, I love it. I, I think that this genre just, it's a reflection of the human condition. You heard me say mm -hmm. this before that I think is just, I, I think it's revealing about who we are and who we want to be and what we're capable of. All right, so that's Tom Welling and Tom Ellis. And our producer, Chris, by the way, is obsessed with Tom Welling. Uh, I don't know if people Why? know that. He loved Superman, Smallville. Okay. He watched it all the time. Uh, and uh, I did get a message from him for we you. We did a satellite interview him last year for that 
crappy romantic comedy. Yeah. And I got to talk to him. So that it was is kind true. of like a dream come true. So, did you feel Chris was all from you. Him. Did you feel he was miscast in that role then? He took away from Superman and put him in a crappy romantic comedy, as your words were? I mean, I think he just needed the work, to be honest. <laughs> oh. So between him and Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum, oh, Jeff hands Goldblum. down. Okay. Yeah, right. Yes. Just ask. Keanu Reeves? That's crazy Keanu talk, Reeves Marine. Reeves is number two. Okay. okay. Oh, so then Tom Welling's three. Tom Welling's three. Okay, as as okay. he's doing the top right. three. Okay. Chris and I have a very similar taste in movies. I'm, I, I, I thought you were saying men. I thought you were saying similar taste in men. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I was like, I, I'm going to see. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see Jeff Goldblum <laughs> in a couple weeks, so I'll okay. talk to him. Um, but I do have a message from Tom Welling for Chris, which I'll give to you it, uh, is it in after private? the show. Private? Yeah, I'll give it to you in private. Oh. oh so I mean, you outed his crush on TV. It's actually not that bad. I just forgot to put it in the uh, okay. package, so right. I apologize. All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, just a reminder.